All right. We're back. The first video for the Cup of Coffee Big Leaguer. Finally, it took me forever. Man, this is no joke. No joke whatsoever, man. This is... Whew. I'm here today to talk about the 2020 draft. The first round pick. The first pick overall. The top 10 guys. What they make. Who are they? How many college guys? How many high school guys? Let's get into it. The first pick of the 2020 draft made $8.4 million. It was the largest bonus for a draft pick since Major League Baseball began using bonus pulls. Whoo! Congratulations, Spencer. Man, we're going to get into your info in a second. Heston, my second pick, my lefty power hitter. This dude's the 6'3", 220 outfielder. He bats right-handed. Wow, he says he's going to be an impact player. We'll get into him as well, man. Wow, it's just unbelievable the, the amount of money these guys are signing for today. Uh, back in 2000, I was the 11th pick overall. I signed for $1.95 million out of high school. It was unbelievable. The night before was, ooh, man, it was crazy. The day of, oh my gosh, getting the phone call. I just, I can relive that, relive that moment over and over again. And it still, still gives me that feeling inside of just, man, of just how it was. It was so intense, so intense, so exciting, and so nerve wracking at the same time. But uh, yeah, man, the third pick, Max, you know, he signed for 6.7. Uh, the high school guys in here, the eighth pick, Robert Hassel, 18 years old, signed for $4.3 million. The ninth pick, Zach Veen, out of Spruce Creek High School in Florida, this guy signed for a clean $5 million, man. Now there's a 60% chance that all these first rounders are never going to see a day in the big leagues. 60% chance. Even after all this and all the money that they made, all the money is, that's invested in them, Oh, man, they're about to get six straight years of just loving from these organizations. It's going to be fantastic, boys. Congratulations. But the 40% that do make it, dude, it's, it's just unbelievable. Now, I heard it's easier to make it. It's harder to stay. You know, if you're good, if you're good enough, if you're a potential Major League Baseball player. Now, the total amount of Major League Baseball players ever to play in organized baseball, professional organized baseball, the Major Leagues, it's, it's around $20,000. Last year... Before 2020 season started, it was 19,762. Maybe, maybe exactly. But the way you can find that information out is go to baseball reference, go to the alphabet of all the players and count all the A's, B's, C's, and all the way down to Z. And there's your total number of major leaguers ever. So pretty cool information right here. How do these guys do it? How do they do it? I know that Preston, I'm sorry, Preston, who's Preston? Heston. I know Heston wasn't drafted out of high school. I know Spencer wasn't drafted out of high school. I read an article about Spencer that how mad he got, how upset he was that all his friends weren't drafted or that all his friends were drafted and he wasn't. That sparked the flame that got this guy going. He marked it down. He said it. He stamped it. He says, you know what? I'm going to be a first round pick. I'm going to be a first round pick after I'm done with this ASU. It's going to happen. Well, he led uh, out of the top 10, you know, leading boards of, of stats like batting average, home runs. The guy led in seven of them. The guy was in first place for home runs. And I mean, dude, it's just unbelievable. But yeah, man, if you want to read up on Spencer, man, this guy is unbelievable. Uh, did not get drafted out of high school. Neither did Heston. Heston 6'3", bats lefty, has power. I'm going to be an impact player for sure. I'll bring a left-handed bat to the lineup that has power to all parts of the field. That's telling me that this guy knows how to play the outfield. This guy knows how to hit. In the situation when it's it's uh, the game's on the line, you want this guy up because he's ready to produce. He wants to win. Spencer's the guy that says he's there to win. He wants to do his job, and he will do his job. That's all he's there for. I don't care where you put me. I'll play. So all you club ballers out there that want to play shortstop, dude, I'm telling you, you got to play outfield, infield, and either pitch or catch. Don't pitch or catch. Fine. Play all parts of the infield. Play all parts of the outfield. Give catching a shot then. I mean, if you're not going to be tall, you and pitching right now, it's going to be very difficult. Just because the body of a guy that pitches that much throughout the year and that throws that hard, I mean, he's got to have a big, large body. Those guys are usually 6'4", 6 6'6". 6 6 6. They're huge. And uh, the typical outfielder right here that's fast, 6'6", six, six, dude, and under. Heston ran a 6'5", six, 6 in 2017 at the perfect game. They're, he's huge. He's huge. And he's fast. And he hits bombs. So that's your competition, everybody. How, how are you going to do it? I don't care how old you are. I remember when I was in elementary school, I was doing these speed drills with the strength shoes. I was doing all the box jumps. There were so many things. This is just a handful of the speed drills that I have on my app. And it's going to be, held, it's going to be holding you accountable. You're going to have your calendar. You're going to see all the reps. You're going to see videos of me doing them. 
They're very difficult. This program takes a lot of discipline. But what I'm here today to, to do is to offer you guys the chance to sign up for my app and, and to learn what I did to become a first rounder. And, and just so you know, man, this, this takes years. This is not an overnight thing. This is not a $75 lesson down the street with the Hall of Famer. It's not. Go get your lessons. Go play your club ball teams. But, dude, you need to be hitting at home. You need to be hitting the, hitting the pavement, man. You need to be running. You young guys, man, the pavements, I'm going to say it's okay. If you can get on a track or get on grass, dude, that's what you got to do. But, yeah, the speed routine, I mean, this thing made me run a 6-2-3. That was my best. Tropicana Field, 18 years old. That was it, man. That was how. The T routine, no matter if I was in elementary school or playing in the major leagues, 22 years old, I was doing this. T, T routine. If you can't hit two balls off the plate, you ain't going to be able to hit. If you don't get your foot down, you don't know your mechanics, if you don't know your contact points, how are you going to hit? If you can't wait on a changeup. You can't, oh, dude, come on. Contact points. If you don't even know what a contact point is, man, I'll help you out. So many guys out there that, uh, you know, and they, their teams may beat me. It's okay. It's okay. I know at a certain point the mechanics are going to catch up to you. And the guys that have been working for years on the mechanics, uh, maybe they're not as you know mature as you or, or as strong as you, but th there will be a day where everybody evens up physically. And then, man, it's all about the strongest survives. Who's been working the hardest? Who has that unshakable foundation, a platform to build from? This is a weightless strength routine. This is for all ages. I don't care how old you are. Like I said before, man, this ain't easy, and it's not easy to do all the time. But I guarantee you results in your 60-yard dash if you do the speed program and the strength routine. I guarantee you more success at the plate. Now, what's success at the plate? For me, it's hitting the ball hard. I don't care what your batting average is. The, bat, the hits will come as long as you're hitting the ball hard. Now, a line drive is the best statistically way to get a hit. So let's start there. Let's just start there. Hit line drives to all parts of the field. That means you're going to recognize inside and turn on it. You're going to recognize outside and let it travel and drive it the other way. Recognize down the middle. Man, I used to hit the pitcher's feet. That was a base knock for me every time. If I was feeling frothy, shoot, I'd try to yank that thing out of the park, and sometimes I was lucky. Sometimes I was lucky. So, yeah, the uh, strength routine, unbelievable. Here's the calendar you're going to jump into. You know, I can see what you do, what you don't do. Yeah, you see protein shakes up there. You see breakfast. There's lunch. There's dinner. I'm going to need you to eat so much food. It's ridiculous. How else are you going to get big and strong, man? You got to eat food. You got to drink a lot of water. You got to work out. I'm trying to turn these little guys right here, little six, seven, eight-year-olds, into what I was, or at least have a chance at it. And now let me explain for you guys thinking about, well, I don't want to do this first-round thing, this whole baseball, professional baseball, money, and all that. Fine, fine. We'll still go and try to be a first round pick because when you're holding that bag and you're telling people or you sign up for, hey man, I'm going to be a first round pick and you really mean it. Well, what does that mean? That means that you're going to work so much harder than the 99% of the people that you're playing against. 99%. The 1% people are willing to do what the 99% are not. And this is the 1% workout program. Like not too many guys are going to look at this and be excited. This is hard. And then there's programs out there that's, dude, way more than this. I've seen them. I've done them. Milwaukee Brewers, Baltimore Orioles, Arizona Diamondbacks, their workout routines. You know, this doesn't even have the weight room in there. All this stuff, really, you can transition into agility work at the end of the day and, and, and go hit up, hit up the weight room. And that's really where you're going to get strong. I mean, in high school, I was squatting 420, 90, 90 degrees and 535 quarter squat. Bench press was 225, 235 maybe, maybe 245. I doubt it. I wasn't, I wasn't one of the power guys. I, uh, I always tried to be. But, hey, man, that's, that's it. Um, if you're looking to be one of these guys, you're going to have to put up the numbers. You're going to have to be talented. You're going to have to meet that talent with work ethic, practice for years. And if you do, you know, if you just do that little recipe I said, man, I promise you, you're going to be capable, more capable than you are now at the plate, center field at first base on the mound whatever behind the plate so best of luck to you and and everybody out there what i want you to do is i want you to you know reach out to me if you're interested in any of this stuff interested in signing up for the app man it's a dollar a day 29 bucks a month you know brothers and sisters are free it's just one guy individual if you want to do a team you want to put your whole team on here 
do custom workouts with weights, whatever you want to do, I can do it. $89 for up to 15 players on the team. Uh, the coach, you can even be on there and uh, see what they're doing and see what they're not and hold them accountable as well. So good stuff right here, uh, Las Vegas people. If you're interested in lessons, private lessons, man, I do those. I do those too. Uh, hit me up on any of my social platforms. And uh, if you're interested in club ball, six, seven, eight-year-olds, I also have a 12U team. So a lot of good stuff going on. We're about to go into the winter break. Uh, come the new year, we are going to be doing, um, you know, competitive, competitive baseball again. And uh, <clears throat> I, don't know, I guess that's all I got for you guys today. Hey, man, have a great day. I got practice tonight. Uh, if you're wa watching this, give me a like. Hit the like. Subscribe to my channel. I plan on putting up video after video after video of all the good stuff that I have to offer. All the good stuff for baseball players. And just remember, man, if, um, gosh, I don't know. I would listen to somebody that, you know, played in the major leagues. If you're really looking to get serious about, you know, making first round money, uh, then you should ask somebody that, that made first round money and ask them how they did that. Man, I'm here to tell you today exactly how I did it. You know, if you're looking to go to high school and, and, and find a way to be the shortstop and, and win, you know, just keep on changing club ball teams because that winning thing and, and not practicing, you know, and not developing because the winning is all, all that matters to you right now. And man, I, I get it. <clears throat> I get it. It's a tough, it's a tough, uh, tough line right there. But it's, it's literally an art form to understand the development part and, and the winning part, especially at a young age. But I'll, I'll finish the video with the example of uh, name dropping right here. Harper. Go and read up on Harper's story, man. I think that guy was a catcher, you know, and he was, you know, and now he's an outfielder. So, like, you never know. Just, just you never know. So, but what I do know is that if you're one of the best athletes in your city, in your state, in your high school, if you're one of the fastest runners in your city, state, on the West Coast, if you can hit the ball the farthest, if you put up the numbers, home runs, if you're in the gym and you're dude, just throwing weights around, if you're eating food, if you're drinking water, man, if you got inspiration, if you're, if you're possessed with desire, then that's the only way. And then, you, dude, maybe, maybe you're going to get somewhere. Best of luck to you guys. Stay in touch, man. Peace.